Well, in less than a week, high school winter sports return. The CIAC voting today to start conditioning and non-contact practices on January 19th. That means those low to moderate risk sports like basketball, hockey, and swimming can start with an eye on competition no sooner than February 8th and with a 12 game season. As far as indoor track, practices can occur, but the CIAC says no meets will be allowed, although those meets will be considered in March. Now, there will not be a state tournament, but there will be postseason experiences within leagues. Now we're going from zero to 100 in a short amount of time. Cheshire High School's athletic director, Steve Trifone, is now tasked with putting the wheels in motion for his athletes. We learned a lot from the fall. We learned a lot of what to do and what not to do. Uh, a lot of that is going to carry into the winter, and I think that's going to help us move things along quicker. The CIAC did cancel all high-risk sports for the winter season, so no wrestling, competitive cheer, and dance. And the CIAC recommends no spectators, but as with most decisions moving forward, it is up to each district. CIAC Executive Director Glenn Lungarini saying the plan voted on today allows flexibility for every school district. But in the winter, we do expect to uh, continue to see some teams quarantine. We still uh, expect to see some impacts to schedules. You know, it's not easy to play uh, sports in a pandemic, uh, but we've done this in consultation uh, with the medical experts, with the Department of Health, who's provided great guidance, uh, and we have a safe um, uh, plan for, for schools that, as you said, uh, provides flexibility for them whenever their kids are ready. And not lost in all of the winter sports talk, the CIAC voted today to cancel the alternative season, which means no high school football in the spring. In Cheshire, Sean Pergano, Fox 61 Sports.